what we're going to be talking about a little bit today is the marbles double bit hatchet looks like a little mini double bit axe I was looking forward to getting this until I finally got it when I received it um, the chief complaint that I have about this and I tried to return it but the people said if you just went like that you couldn't return it it's a hatchet well whatever I'll absorb the loss but the thing about this hatchet is it's usable but it's also very dangerous look at the handle look at my hand it is for a child's hand this is not a child's toy this will kill you this will chop your fingers off it will do just about anything that could hurt you it will do it it has possibilities what I have to do is replace the handle in other words rehang it that's what it's called you have to hang some hatchets or hang some axes that means you have to replace the handle now let's get a close-up of this right here show you what I'm talking about now they went ahead and shaved this down way too much look how thin that is now this is hickory the lining of the wood the way the grain of the wood I should say is laying it's not too bad but it shaves so thin, I can almost guarantee you, if I took a whack at a piece of wood and slammed it down there, this handle's going to break. Now the reason is, if you're in the woods. Because this is a tool, a tool that you need to use. Anyway, other than that, I think it's worth about $20. I paid a little over $30 for it. Because if I pay any amount of money for a product, I at least want it really usable and safe. Okay, down here, the handle length is 12 inches. You include the amount of length here that's going through the head and sticking out the top, it's additional two. So they took a 14 inch piece of wood and whittled it down. But this here is way too thin. If they just would have left that straight, would have came up about another eighth to a quarter of an inch on each side, it would have been just right. But hickory will last, hickory's good, it's not steel. The hatchet itself, is fairly sharp it's not too bad you'd have to go ahead and change it for your own likings but again if that handle would have been bigger let me show you what I'm talking about look at that my fingers are already going into my hand I'm just making a fist if this was larger then I could grip it better but I mean it's just like any other piece of sharpened metal it's going to go in wood that's not a problem. It'll shave wood too. I've already been messing with it for a little bit, but uh, you can see it'll shave wood. It'll do all that. But you see, you can't hang on to it. It's, it's just so thin. Yes, you could put tape on it or maybe even just dip the handle in rubber, but I shouldn't have to. But I understand things go wrong. And so, if you order anything like this, pay very close attention to the details, the comments, etc. that are in the review area of the product. Because I don't want you to get the same product that I got. Because I want something that's a little bit better. I know there's little hatchets like this here that go for a whole heck of a lot more than $30, $35 or more. But there's no need for that. This here could be a very usable tool if it had a better handle. So, I'm just going to have to replace it. But will it chop wood? Sure, it'll chop wood. But do you really want to come down like Superman on a piece of wood because you have to chip it or whatever? It's a piece of hard. Because if anything like this breaks off and comes flying, there's where the damage or even death will result. So, you want to be careful. That's the big thing about it. But the marbles, hatchet, double bit, it has possibilities. This one has possibilities. But now i got to do their work for them. That's all I'm going to say about this as far as that complaint goes. But other than that, I think it has good possibilities to do different things. 
any hatchet will do this if it's sharp. It's not a problem. The metal, the temper, it's not too bad. It's just the rest of it. You need something good to grip that. See, I can grip it real tight, but that's that's not going to work. That's not going to do it. This here basically is a backpacking axe, and for people that want to uh, play mountain man up in the woods, get dressed up, and just show it. But if, but if you're like me, and if you go up into the woods, you need a tool, a tool that's going to work, something you can depend on. So, if you luck out and get one with a good handle or replace the handle, it'll be usable. Then you can grind these the way you want, the head the way you want, and be happy with it. But if you want something that's factory made, you're going to have to look closer at it. I wish you well. Thanks a lot for watching.